Chak Por Chung has lived in Scotland since he was a student in the 1970s. He's now chairman of the Chinese Evangelical Church Committee in Edinburgh. Chung was born in Hong Kong, but he's acutely aware of the strong national identity of his adopted homeland. So when we uh, talk to people, when we say, oh, Edinburgh, England, then we will quickly call, call it, but, well, Edinburgh, Scotland. <laughs> In part, it is that strong identity that drives some Scots' desire for independence from London. In Hong Kong, too, there have been protests demanding greater autonomy from Beijing. The demonstrators want universal suffrage to choose their next leader in 2017, a wish the Chinese government has rejected. Chung says there are limits to the analogy. Particularly these few weeks, then all over the world is, well, have their eyes on it and then probably, well, I'm not surprised that well, the Chinese government will look at it, it well very well carefully, <laughs> but I don't think uh, this well, will draw the uh, same uh, analogy as this of what that of the Hong Kong situation is. It's because well, Hong Kong in the past is a colony, and then originally it belonged to China. Jia Singh from Punjab in India has helped his family run a convenience store in the shadow of Edinburgh Castle for the last four years. He says there is much interest in India in the potential breakup of the former colonial ruler. People, because uh, they are watching on uh, what's going on, like Scotland is going to be, to be separate from England, you know. And there was a, like in India, it's 1949, like Pakistan will be separated from India. That's a big loss, I think. Uh, still, still they're watching that. Now the main thing is English government did that, so they have been watching for this as well. <laughs> In the Catalonia region of northeast Spain, interest in the Scottish referendum goes beyond casual curiosity. Protesters took to the streets Thursday to demand independence from Madrid. Catalans plan their own referendum in November, which the Spanish government has refused to recognise. Many Catalans believe that if an independent Scotland prospers and successfully becomes a member of the European Union, their dreams of statehood will soon be fulfilled. I think the central government will react like England did with Scotland. When the yes vote became a majority, then they were willing to start a dialogue. I hope we can be like them and get the vote and vote yes so we can win. Back in Edinburgh, Danny Setra, a Catalan from the city of Barcelona, is studying the similarities between Scotland and Catalonia at the University of Edinburgh. He says back home, the British Prime Minister is admired. David Cameron is seen as a hero in, in Catalonia. He's seen as a, as a true democrat, as someone who, when he faced the demand for a referendum on independence, was reasonable and accommodating about this demand. Uh, and this is seen in contrast to the attitude of Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy. The decision Scotland makes on September 18th could have huge consequences for Britain. As an experiment in democracy, it will be watched carefully by many others around the world. Henry Ridgewell, for VOA News, Edinburgh.